Hi, I'm Jordan Wilson with Caster Headquarters, and today we're going to take you on a step-by-step -step guide to help you determine which caster will fit your current equipment, cart, or toolbox, and then which wheel combination will be best suited for your application. The first thing you need to know before you order your casters would be the top plate size and the bolt hole pattern. So these correlate and they go one and one with each other. Now, typically on a lot of medium heavy duty casters, they're gonna have an industry standard top plate. And that would be a four inch by four and a half inch overall top plate size. And the bolt holes are gonna be two and five eighths by three and five eighths slotted to three inches by three inches. This is industry standard and it's very common. The next thing you need to know is the overall height of your equipment and to determine the overall height, you need to know the wheel diameter. So if you currently have casters that are installed on your cart or your equipment, then you'll need to measure the diameter of the wheel. A lot of industry standard toolbox casters or toolboxes have a six by two, so a six inch diameter wheel. If you wanna match that and you wanna keep the same overall height, you can definitely order a six inch. Now, if it's a heavy cart equipment or toolbox and it's just hard to push manually, you'll want to get a larger diameter wheel and that will allow you to roll it a lot easier as a larger diameter. Now, if you currently have a six inch diameter wheel, and let's say you go with an eight inch diameter, it's gonna raise your overall height by two inches. So you have to look at that and see whether you wanna raise your height, you wanna lower your height, or if you wanna keep it the same. Next, you wanna look at the total weight capacity or total load capacity of your cart or your equipment, and you wanna divide that by four and then you wanna look at the wheels, the different types of wheel materials to see if these wheels can handle the total load capacity of your cart. There's a lot of different wheel materials you can go with. There's more affordable ones that are very strong and hold a lot of capacity, and they all have different benefits, and they also you know, have different uh, disadvantages. This is a phenolic wheel. This is a very popular caster that we sell, and we sell a lot of these for toolbox replacements. Six by two is pretty standard, and a phenolic wheel is honestly one of the most affordable wheels you can buy. It's very, very affordable, um, and it's also very strong. So this wheel will hold 1,250 pounds each. So a total load capacity of 5,000 pounds for four casters. And we sell these in, in kits. So we typically sell this one in like a toolbox set. And a toolbox set will usually be two swivel and two fixed casters. So these don't actually swivel. And what two fixed casters allows you to do when you combine it with two swivels is it allows you to line and roll your cart in a straight line. Now, if you have four swivels, that might be better if you're in a really tight space like a garage or a small workshop where you need to be able to maneuver the cart really easily and you need to park it in certain areas. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult with rigids. Now, if you're rolling it um, long distances, we highly recommend rigid casters to go along with your swivels. That'll allow you to still turn your cart, but also keeping it in a straight line while you're rolling it. So we have a lot of different wheel materials, so it really depends on what your application is before you choose the material. You're gonna to need to look at the total load capacity, where it's gonna be rolled, if it's gonna be sitting and parked for long periods of time, if the floor is very sensitive or expensive, like if it's an epoxy floor, if it's indoors, or if it's a concrete floor, and it's a flat and smooth surface, or if it goes outdoors and there's gravel and grass. You need to determine the application and where it's rolling. Otherwise, you're gonna order the wrong caster and it's gonna be very hard to move the cart. We'll show you our most common six by two casters that we sell and we can kind of go over the applications. The most popular would obviously be the phenolic that I showed you previously. That's because it's very affordable and it's very strong. But phenolics are not good for wet environments. You don't want to get the wheel material wet or exposed to a whole lot of moisture or wash on applications. So that's, that's the disadvantage of a phenolic. But again, you're saving a lot of money. If they don't get wet, they're going to last a very long time and they hold a very high load capacity. Second most popular um, wheel material we sell would have to be a polyurethane wheel on a cast iron core. And we offer this in two different colors. So we offer these um, in, in red and also green. And the red's gonna come with a silver cast iron core and then green's gonna come with a black cast iron core. Now, the tread durometer is a 95 short A durometer. So it's actually a fairly hard durometer tread, but it's gonna protect your floors a lot better than a harder wheel like a phenolic wheel or a still wheel. So the tread is really good if you have epoxy floors or any, any type of floor 
um, you know, that you don't want to scratch. Another really popular will, and this is better for wash down and wet applications, would have to be a polyurethane on aluminum. Now, these have the same tread hardness, so the same durometer, a 95 short A, but they have an aluminum core. So what this is, this is a lot more resistant to rust. So these are a little bit more expensive, um, but they're definitely a lot better for wash down applications. And they're, they're gonna last a lot longer if these are exposed to, to water and moisture compared to a cast iron core will. This is a very popular will as well. We sell a lot of these in toolbox caster kits, um, mainly because it has a slight crown on the tread and it's a cast iron core and it comes with real high quality 6203 precision bearings. So the precision ball bearings allow it to roll a lot easier. It allows you to start up and push the cart easier and it's also a lot quieter and it rolls a little bit smoother just because of the bearings itself and then the crown tread. So this is a good will. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's gonna last a very long time and it's gonna protect your floors and just be easier to roll overall. We do have steel wheels that we do offer and these are for real smooth concrete applications um, and, and just applications where you're, where you're not too worried about hurting the floor. And as long as you don't have obstructions and debris on the floor, the steel wheels are gonna be a really good option for you because they're extremely hard. They're really easy to roll um, and they hold a lot of capacity. You don't have to worry about you know flat spotting or any, anything happening with the steel wheels. The only difference between these two, this one's ductile still, so it's had a little bit better PSI, a little bit higher PSI um, and more durability. And this one is a semi-steel wheel, so it still holds the same capacity, but it's not as resistant to impact. So if you have something where you're gonna drop the cart or you pick it up with a forklift and move it and it has a lot of impact, these are usually going to become brittle over time and then the ductiles still are gonna remain really strong. Um, the ductile's more expensive and this is your cheaper version, but if you're just rolling the carts and you need to steel wheel manually, you don't actually, you're not exposed to a lot of impact, then a steel wheel is a very affordable option to get a lot of capacity and a really good wheel. We also have a solid polyurethane wheel that we offer, and this is just a good wheel overall for washdown applications where you need a really clean wheel. There's nowhere for germs and bacteria to build up. It's really easy to wipe down and clean, and a polyurethane wheel also holds a lot of capacity. So you're still gonna get 1,200 pounds out of a six by two, and it, it's just a really solid, clean looking wheel. Now, if you do overload this with a little bit you know, you overload it and leave it parked sitting, sitting for long periods of time. It could develop a, a slight flat spot, but a lot of the time we sell these into pharmaceutical labs, hospitals, a lot of clean room environments, and usually they'll combine a solid poly wheel with a stainless steel caster, and then they'll opt out opting for the uh, stainless steel roller bearings or stainless steel precision bearings. That way the entire caster, stainless steel, you have a really good polyurethane wheel, so it's really good for clean room operations. Next, you have a high temp wheel. So this one's called a high temp phenolic wheel and this one's basically just like a regular phenolic wheel but it's the high temp version. So this can this is for high temperature applications. This is for bakeries, ovens, you know anything that's exposed to high levels of heat and this also comes with a roller bearing. We usually don't grease these standard because it depends on your application. Usually the customer will have a specific high temperature grease that they want to use on their caster depending on where it's going. So if it's going on somewhere where they have to powder coat, they're gonna have a different type of grease or they don't need grease at all for powder coating. Or if they are going into a food service, like an oven, they're gonna have some high temp food service grease that can usually handle that temperature without running out of the bearings. And you're still gonna help the wheel roll really easily. So these are your high temp phenolic versions same thing with these. We have a glass full nylon version that's high temp, and that one's better for wash down and steam clean applications, steam room applications. And then you have the high temp phenolic, which is more affordable, but this isn't good for wash down. This is just good for dry heat. Then another really popular one would be a thermoplastic rubber wheel. Thermoplastic rubber wheel is typically seen in hospital environments or indoor applications. Now it's not gonna get as high as a capacity as a, as a poly on steel wheel, but you're still gonna get a decent amount of load capacity and it's gonna absorb shock. It's gonna be really quiet to roll. And this is just a good overall caster if you need to roll this indoors and you don't wanna mark up the floors. This wheel is completely non-marking and it's just a really high quality wheel overall. And then last but not least, 
you have, this is called our extreme wheel. Now this is good for, I guess, outdoor applications. I wouldn't really recommend it for gravel because sometimes gravel can get stuck between the tread. But if you're, you're going on grass or, you know, a softer lawn or something like that that's outdoors, this is a good wheel. It's gonna dig into the ground. It's gonna help you roll a little bit easier outdoors. I wouldn't really recommend this inside. The wheel is has is real nuggy, you know, it looks real off-road and it's gonna be really loud. And when you roll it, let's see if we can hear it. So this one, you know, you can really hear you know, how loud this tread is because it's like a harder rubber. It, you can feel the rubber, but it's almost plasticky, but it's a harder rubber, so it has decent grip. So it's not a bad wheel, but it is noisy to roll, so we definitely recommend this for outdoor applications. Second to last thing you need to know would be the wheel bearings. So the bearings also make a big difference in your application, in your caster, and in the rollability. All of our casters come standard with roller bearings. And roller bearings are just fine for most applications, but if you need a higher quality bearing, you can order your caster with an upgraded sealed precision ball bearing. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna allow you to initiate the cart a little bit easier, it's gonna allow it to roll smoother, and it's gonna allow it to roll quieter. So precision bearing is a big upgrade from a standard roller bearing, and like I said, it's not that much more. I think we offer them for $8 more on our website, depending on which wheel combination you get. The last thing you'll need to know is brakes and accessories. Now, if you look at, let's grab a swivel again, like a standard toolbox caster. Standard toolbox caster will have usually two swivel with brake and two fixed casters. Now, you can upgrade all your casters with brakes if you need to, I and mean, you can have different styles of brake. So if you want the brake, this is called a top lock brake, and what this does is you, you, you press down on the lever and it's gonna push this shoe on top of the wheel and it's actually gonna you know, keep the wheel from, from spinning. Now there's also cam brakes that squeeze the side of the wheel, it squeeze the forks together and it actually stops the wheel. And then you have front side brakes. So if you want the pedal in the front of the wheel or the back, depending on, on, on how you're rolling the caster, you can have a, a, a front style pedal brake and then you also have total locking brakes. Now total locking brakes a little bit different. It's kind of special for the heavier duty casters, but we do we can get them, we do offer them. And the total lock brake allows you to lock the swivel and the wheel at the same time. A total lock brake's really good for, let's say a table that you're gonna be using uh, for woodworking or welding or anything where you need a very solid, stable table and it's not gonna move. So, you know, when a regular brake won't work, you can get a top lock and that's gonna lock the swivel and the wheel at the same time. So that's a really good one. So this concludes our different wheel materials we offer for your, your two inch wide casters, your medium duty, medium heavy duty. If this video helped, please leave a like, comment, subscribe to our channel.